God, our Father, we approach thy throne of grace, O oh God, with great thanksgiving today, O oh Lord, acknowledging that it's you who have made us and not we ourselves. Thank you, O oh Lord, that you have blessed us to be able to come boldly unto the throne of grace, knowing that there we find help, uh, we find mercy for our time of need. And O oh Lord, we acknowledge that we need you and we cannot make it without you. We know that it's in you that we live, we move, and we have our being. O oh Lord, we acknowledge that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. We know, O oh Lord, that your word tells us that with you nothing uh, shall be impossible. And so we thank you, O oh Lord, for you are supreme, you are sovereign, you rule and you super rule over both heaven and earth. And we glorify your name. We extol you in the highest. God, we come uh, thanking you for life, health, and strength. We thank you, O oh Lord, for food, clothing, and shelter. We thank you, O oh Lord, for salvation in Jesus Christ. We thank you, O oh Lord, uh, that you uh, looked beyond our faults and you saw our need. Thank you, O oh Lord, uh, because you take good care of us. Uh, you provide for us. You protect us, O oh Lord, in everything that we needed. Uh, your hand has always provided. And so, Lord, we know great is your faithfulness toward us. Oh, Lord, we praise your name. We ask, oh God, that you forgive us for where we've wronged you by thought, word, or deed, whether omission or commission. Forgive us, cleanse us from all unrighteousness is our prayer. Restore us to proper fellowship in you. And Lord, we ask, oh God, that you would teach us to serve you with a pure heart. Help us, oh Lord, uh, in our decisions throughout the day, uh, that they might reflect that we are children of thine. Oh Lord, help us, oh Lord, uh, to walk in agreement with your word. Help us, oh Lord, to covet and desire uh, time with you in your word. Lord, for we know that your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And so Lord, we ask today that we be guided by your Holy Spirit Oh, Lord, that we walk in victory. We ask, oh, God, that you uh, be merciful uh, on those who are sick and those who are shut in, those who are afflicted uh, across the land and country. Lord, be with them in a special way. Oh, Lord, uh, uh, cause them to sense your abiding presence today. We're praying, oh, Lord, for those who are bereaved that you would certainly uh, minister to them, oh, Lord, uh, and comfort their hearts with the hope of eternal life in Jesus Christ. And Lord, we're praying uh, for uh, those spoken and unspoken requests that are before your throne today, that you would answer according to your choice and blessed will. And Lord, we know that your will is what's best for us. Thank you, O Lord, for your love and kindnesses and your tender mercies. Thank you, O Lord, that uh, you're long suffering and you continue, O Lord, uh, to deal with your people in mercy. We praise your name. We thank you for your favor. And Lord, we're asking uh, that you certainly keep us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. Bless us in our going out and our coming in. Now, Lord, we ask your choice blessings on those who are on the mission field today. Lord, cause their ministries to flourish as they evangelize the lost. Uh, Lord, uh, bless them as they share the gospel of Jesus Christ with the lost world. Lord, help us to understand our role in, in, uh, in evangelism as well. And that even though we may not be on an extended mission field, that even those that we come in contact with on a regular basis, we too need to share the good news of Jesus Christ. So we ask today uh, that you help us not only talk it, but live it as well. We're praying, oh God, for uh, churches and church leaders everywhere. Oh, Lord, that uh, we might uh, continue to do those things that would that would uh, be impactful uh, in our communities. And we're praying, Master, also for our government, that they be guided by you, that they seek you first in every decision that they make, uh, Lord, for the good of the citizenry. And so, Lord, we love you. We adore you and we trust you in all things. Thank you, oh Lord, for answered prayer. Thank you, oh Lord, for being so gracious to us. In Christ's name we pray, amen.